This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 14. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks for the solution. So, looking at these answer choices, we're not, not even going to try to factor. We're going straight to quadratic formula. But first, I notice that each term is a multiple of 3. So I can factor out a common f factor of 3, leaving me with 3 times x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Since 3 is not 0, the second factor has to be 0, so just x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. That's going to make the arithmetic much easier on the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says my x value is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is the x squared coefficient 1, b is the x coefficient positive 4, and c is the constant positive 2. And I'll always write out my quadratic formula and write the values of a, b, and c, partly so I don't swap values to the wrong location, but also so I don't drop negatives when there are negatives. I've found that I make far fewer errors if I do that. So my x value is negative b, which is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared is 4 squared is 16, minus 4ac is minus 4 times 2 is 8, times 1 is still minus 8, all over 2. So x equals negative 4 plus or minus root 8 over 2. That's negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2, plus or minus root 8 over 2. Root 8 is 2 root 4, root, I'm sorry, 2 root 2, and that's over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so that's negative 2 plus or minus root 2. Answer choice A would be the correct answer. College Board almost always asks you to solve a quadratic equation, and that often requires the quadratic formula, so it's re worth reviewing this before your SAT. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more. 